Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. I wanted to officially take Big Daddy um, <clears throat> into this fight against First Form Cell. Um, we got a lot of good footage of him, you know, doing well in here too that I kind of want to add in here. Um, and then we just have a nice clean run. Even though this guy is not able to transform into his super powerful modes, right? Like your cell attacks so infrequently, only seven times per turn, that you are very unlikely to be able to get the five hits for this guy needed to swap into Oob. Ooh, the Oob portion of this character would completely dominate this cell. All that extra defensive support into orb changing these abilities would be so good for this fight but it's not it, like it's not very reasonable that you'll be able to swap into this guy um cell is just attacking not enough and too inconsistent in his attacks and cell is honestly too weak um like he he, he just does not have the hp so uh i i just cannot see this guy like almost ever coming out in this fight uh let me just show you know some of the footage we've gotten so far um, of in, uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku in this fight. Let's just hit... We'll hit this for you, sure. So, Super Saiyan 4 Goku can get a bunch of hits in for him. Okay, nice. And we know Golden Freeze is not going to be taking damage there. Now, I do think that TUR Golden Freeze, he probably would take a little damage here, right? I don't think it would be too bad, because, I mean, this Cell... I mean, he's not hitting as hard as Cell Max, right? Uh, the thing is, it might be difficult for us to get... Okay, how much is this going to do? Uh, we did get hit. We did super attack first. Only 95. Yeah. Okay. Well, yet another fight for Super Saiyan 4 Goku to literally pull his massive penis out and dominate. Yeah, I mean, listen, this is nothing new, that LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku being a god. It makes sense that, like, they drop him, and then they're like, all right, now watch, check this out. Watch us drop, like, 50 fights that are perfect for him. Now, we easily could get caught. Um, the base Gokus we'll have to be a little bit careful with. We're probably, like, these boys haven't been hit yet. So, them doing their revive, um, is, is going to come from us being low health. But again, we've got a lot of guard characters. A lot of my characters are built with a lot of dodge as well. So, we, we should be looking pretty good there. LR Golden Frieza is a, this is probably going to be a very good fight for him. I, I want 23rd World Tournament Goku to get. He needs to build up at least a little bit, right? He'll take damage, though. Hmm. We let let's let's go let's go for it let's go for it let, let let's let him build up. Maybe he'll take a ton of damage, and then that would allow us to revive or something like that. Maybe this would be a mistake. Let's see. Let let's see how this is gonna work. Um, both Super Saiyan 4 Gokus will be able to hang in there very powerfully since they have type advantage. It's not gonna be as like imperative to transform into ooh. Cell is healing too. Hmm. Yeah, this is act I think this is going to be a tricky fight for a lot of people. Because Cell, he just hits so hard so fast that it's like many, you know, many weak characters that people like to cope for, you know, really have to build up quite a bit. This is good. Take no, no get hit one more for decent damage. Nice. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good here. Um this will put us in a position where wait, we are able to revive, right? Were we below 50%? Did the dodge actually hurt us? Let's see. No, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. This puts us in a, a very, very good position right here. Oh, but, hmm. I mean, we really... I guess it's not super important. No, 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 no. We need full health for next turn for TUR Golden Frieza. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm probably just gonna stack them off and get the spirit bomb right away. I think is what I'm gonna do here. I, I think. All righty. So, how do we want to handle this? Uh, let's just get the Skipperu going right here. This will do guaranteed crits. So it should do decent damage right there. Yeah, we're on a bit of a. I guess I could do this, huh? 
Vegeta would die. Yeah, he, he would die. He's not, Vegeta's not tanking that at the end. If Vegeta tanks that at the end, we lose. I'm not going to get any same type orbs just in case, but yeah, if Vegeta tanks that at the end, we will lose. But let's see. Bro, all these other turns, remember on all these other turns how Cell was attacking the last slot like 50 times? And now on this turn, he's like, oh, nah, I'm good, fam. I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired today. Um, I guess if we, if GT Vegeta somehow lived, we would just heal up with Carnival Goku, right? Which would put us above uh, TUR Golden Frieza's threshold. TUR Golden Frieza, judging by the way he's able to tank, uh, you know, the actual really difficult Cell Max boss, we can expect that he would be able to live. Now, LR Golden Frieza, uh, you know, after a couple of turns of him losing damage reduction, we, we need to be very cautious with LR Golden Frieza here on this next turn because he has type advantage. Uh, although, it looks like we're probably just going to kill... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh! Yeah, alright, so we won. I wanted... I, again, forgive me for rocking Super Trunks, but, I mean, he's such a meme. I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to use his bad team, and it didn't work out very well. No, I have the skip on, damn it! Alright, well, we got... Yeah, goodbye, so... <laughs> oh, my god, dude, he's... he's dude. UI Goku or Kami? I can't tell the difference. Oh my god, that damage. Oh my god, he's too good. Yeah, he's too he's too good. This was the character everyone said was so bad, man. He can't be touched, dude. That's literally God out there. And we win. Dude, it's not even hard. Now this... Uh, well, we're only six minutes in. That's not enough for a video. <laughs> well, I mean, guys... Kami, man! Hey, he did a lot! He he did a million... Kami did a million damage. Awesome. Awesome. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. In order for us to have made it through this turn, that's what we needed to happen right there. Was the super attack to be right away. Again, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is great. Um, But, I mean, that first hit, like, on his first turn being the super, that's problematic. There's a lot of characters... Um. Tech Carnival Goku would get caught by that, right? A lot of characters like that. Even Piccolo Jr. himself, if we put him in Cell 1, that would be an issue for him. I don't think... Do we have any... No, we're, we're completely good here. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku should be fine. I mean, he gets uh, defense when he super attacks and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't really think that there's going to be any issues that we're going to run into or anything. I think we should be fine. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's not going to take 140k from one normal. Even if he's not in Salt 1. Like, it's not going to work like that. With him super attacking first? Like, nah, no way. Alright, we got so we got our Goat Kami again. And he took a lot. Again, the first hit. Alright, Yajirobe. I mean, we our Yajirobe has the full dodge build. At one attack is not going to kill Yajirobe. Okay, Hercule wouldn't die to a super attack. Super Saiyan 4 Goku at this point is going to tank the super attack for almost nothing if the super attack is coming in. Again, Yajirobe can't get one-shotted. Um, okay, th yeah, this is fine. This is 200k at max, right? <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, no GT, no Saiyan Roar, right? Like, that's not like, oh my god, juice Super Saiyan 4 Goku, not at all. Now, Yajirobe will take damage here, so... Okay, that's good, that's good. That's good, beautiful. That's the full dodge build kicking in right there, by the way. If Cell's going to super attack, it's going to be at the end. Cell is not super attacking at the start, so we, we, we know this. Remember, Cell, uh, Cell's cooldown is, is, is pretty long for how many attacks he has. I think it's seven. I think Cell has a seven attack cooldown for his super attack. So it's not, you know, like he... Um, if he supers, like, right at the end like that, there's a good chance he's not going to super attack on the next turn. All right, he's hanging in there. I mean, those heals, I mean, the fact that Cell heals every turn means the fight will go on a little bit longer. This is a very well-designed fight. That's what I, I'm going to do right here. We're, we're going to get respect him. Now, understand that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the first hit gives him a buff. So, this is going to hit a little bit harder than we'd like. And Super Saiyan 4 Goku gets slot 1 buffs as well. Um, and this is Super Saiyan 4 Goku without a 200% leader skill. And he doesn't have GT and Saiyan Roar active. I mean, but, you know, I, I guess... All right, let's see. 400, yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to float Raditz off just to get Raditz some footage. Uh, and I'm considering just ending the video <laughs> after 
if we tie in this turn, I might just end the video. I'm thinking about it. It's like, yeah, you guys got your Raditz, your Raditz video. I mean, I need to finish the Raditz video so we could do the Kami video, right? Like, uh, you know, we got it. How much footage do we have? This is, so we're six minutes in pretty much right here. And I had seven minutes last night. That's enough for a video. Yeah, we, we could throw it up. We could throw it up. These daily limits, bro. We get five, five per day. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, we'll rock something like this. This should be pretty effective for LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, one thing about LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is that he is very powerful. We kind of don't even really need to worry so much about uh, necessarily getting like GT and Saiyan Roar and stuff like that up. Um, here, let's just get this bastard out in front. L let's let him just go ahead and eat a whole bunch of damage real quick. Uh, we'll hit this. Um, I will hit this for Goku. And then let's get, we'll go ahead and get Bulma her support right here. Alright, so Metal Cooler should die right here. Um, then that's gonna go ahead and give us the opportunity to do that thing. What's it called? Uh, give God Mode to 23rd World Tournament Goku. Um, and then full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku should be able to cook uh, for the remainder of the fight. Alright, there's Super Attack. Yep, Metal Cooler. Alright, well, the problem is Metal Cooler is going to come back in two turns and uh, be a bit fraudulent, but we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, so our 23rd World Tournament Gokus are going to be in a really good spot. Uh, now, remember that LR uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Um, being in slot 1 is actually rather important for this guy. You could run him out of slot 1, but I, I do think he loses a lot of the bite that makes him kind of like... Um, I don't know, like like a Z-class type character, right? Like, where we start arguing about this guy as one of the best units in the game, um, that's going to be coming from him in slot 1, right? So, in slot 1, uh, Goku's going to get an additional 70% defense and 20% damage reduction. This is going to work exactly like Vegeta and Trunks, to where once we obtain the last orb, that's when um, the defense and damage reduction are going to kick in. So, Goku is going to have... He's already an Int-type character. We have Bulma support up. And he's going to have 40% damage reduction. Right? As well as numerous other stats. So, he should be able to do fairly good right here. We could do this. Um, we can put Goku right here in the middle slot. That's fine. And then Piccolo Jr. could do a lot. We're going to do a lot of damage to this guy right away. Now, we died to the super attack. So, <clears throat> that means that this guy is... Probably not likely to super attack for quite a while, right? Because remember, Cell's cooldown is 7. Um, good damage right there. So maybe Cell will super attack Piccolo Jr., but like that's not going to... If Piccolo Jr. gives us even two super attacks, he's not really taking mean of meaningful damage. It's so f Piccolo Jr. is an interesting character because he's so busted. And it's like Big Bad Boss's character is just suck balls so badly. Like, Piccolo Jr., I mean, there's a good chance in, like, I don't know, two months, he might be a lot better if Big Bad Boss's characters have, like, a resurgence. Like, if Piccolo Jr. has teams in which he could be run on with stronger Big Bad Boss's characters, right? Like, these stats we see from Piccolo Jr. right here, this is him without Big Bad Bosses, without Thirst for Conquest. There's him with System Additional right there. So, he only got two supers. All right, no super attack. Okay. So now Buddy is going to be super in here. Okay. Oh, that's a little... <laughs> that's a little... That's a little tricky right there, huh? I mean, we... Let me know. I'm going to pop this. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize I had to skip on. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Damn, um, I guess I, I have to put Yajirobe in slot two, huh? <laughs> Yajirobe, by the way, is a really good character. Um, I do like his design a lot, but if the boss has too much pressure, which, you know, Omega Shenron has, way too much pressure for Yajirobe. 
So I don't like using Najobi in there. This fight, though, Cell, because he's only attacking seven times, it's pretty common where there's, like, a slot where there's only, like, one attack. Cell's not doing, like, AoEs at the start and all that type of nonsense. So it's not really... Like, you could run Yajirobe very easily in here, very safely in here. Whereas, like, Yajirobe, I, I do not think is very safe at all against the Omega um, and Sin fights. Um, I'm gonna do this. I don't like to intentionally sabotage a Metal Cooler. But, I mean, does this count as intentionally sabotage? I mean, we want the Yajirobe support from in slot 3. Oh, perfect. There we go. Nullify it? No! No! No nullification and no dodge from our boy. Well, okay. Okay, okay. That's kind of unfortunate luck right there. Remember, Cell is just doing a Key Blast super attack, right? So with Cell only doing a Key Blast super attack, Goku has a 50% chance to nullify it, and my Goku has a full dodge build as well. So both actually did fail us right there. Yeah, Cell does hit very, very hard. I mean, Goku is a heavy build-up character, right? Uh, Goku, you know, not only does he need to um, get hit, but he also needs to have guard activated. That right there, the dodge would activate his guard activated buff. Uh, Metal Cooler should live, right? Because he did get hit a couple of times. Um, plus, he's going to super attack first, so we'll take some damage, but he'll live right here. Wait, will he? Cell gets the 30% buff when he supers. Metal Cooler double supering for us should help out a lot. Okay, perfect, perfect. I actually, I was going to say, man, that actually, I don't know. Like, it, it would be great to see Metal Cooler just, like, sell ass for us, right? Like, ha, 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 yeah, he sucks. But at the same time, uh, I, I, you know, I, we're not trying to take L's here. All right, so that is GG. It's over. Um, I, oh, man, you're in God mode, huh? I really don't want 23rd World Tournament Goku to potentially... He's not going to kill. No build-up? He's not killing. I don't think so. So, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. This will be good because Super Saiyan 4 Goku... Again, even though he's not going to be in slot 1, he should still be very effective. Goku's not going to finish this off, is he? Maybe. We'll see. He, he might He might be able to finish Cell off. It, it, it might be kind of close. Um, but Super Saiyan 4 Goku, for whatever reason, neither uh, of us kill Cell before Super Saiyan 4 Goku finishes attacking. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, remember, he gets hit or he dodges, and then he gets 70% um, defense for three turns after that. So that's up right now. We are going to lose out on some damage reduction and some defense, but Goku, you know, he already has his stack in. Remember that Goku gets uh, 50, uh, no, it's 30% defense for four turns from his 18 key? We have that up right here, plus this. So Goku would be able to tank these hits uh, quite effectively. Uh, are we not even going to be able to finish him off right here? Bulma might be able to do enough damage. Th this should be a nice tank job right here by Goku. 233. I mean, that's a little bit more than I would have liked. But again, that's that's Goku out of slot 1. right? Remember, Goku in slot 1 gets an additional 70% defense. And what's the other thing? 20% damage reduction. He has both. All right, Bulma, our god. Yeah, I mean, guys, guess what? Guess who the best unit in the game for the cell fight is again? Oh, Bulma! Like every fight. Yep, she's number one. I don't know. It might actually be Piccolo Jr. It's, Bulma's up there. Like, I, I just, I love Bulma so much. Like, you never, ever, 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 don't bring her if you could bring her. If you could bring Bulma, you bring Bulma. It's just that simple. Like, you, there's... What she does for every character, for the rotations, for key, for orbs, it's it's just, it's always going to be uh, super easy using Bulma. All right, that was pretty good. Uh, nice little cook job right there. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is able to do his job. He's able to stand in very strong against First Swarm. So, uh, yeah, not bad. LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, definitely a very fun unit. Not really too surprising that they dropped a Dokkan Fest LR. And then they've released multiple super difficult fights in which he dominates, right? Probably not a coincidence.